think I was up hope you're doing great in the session. We're back with another exciting video tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a uh, ocean wave or sea inside this and of all these. So there is a many ways you can do this. So I will show you how can I create this kind of uh, ocean inside this and of all these. So there is a many way to do this so i'm using hot 40 hot 40 is a plugin for creating a real realistic ocean inside this and afford so you can create with uh without any plugin with more graph so but you have more option uh, with hot 40 or you can use real flow but hot 40 is a free plugin so you can download uh, from link under description so okay let me show you how you can do this so a class start we just create a new file and we just simply create a plane here and add more segments like 300 and 300 so now go and plug in if you don't download it just download it and i will show you how you can do this so you got this file hold for the alpha open it and extract this folder inside your plugin folder or send for the plugin folder and in medic open this and extract inside the root directory of send for the so like c program file maxon send for the r19 and here just paste it here so let's talk uh, basically hold for these are work like deformer so just put it under your plane here as you can see it gives you quickly a uh, new look so here we have many options so we just change the resolution you have 2k resolution and but i go with 512 by 512 here so that give me more detail so first option is a c size so you as you can see you can increase the size you can lose the detail you can decrease the size you get more and more detail and we don't want to mess it up so we go it's looking okay for me it's uh, look like some kind of storm in ocean so that look okay but if you click on play so nothing happened because we need to add, uh, animate it manually so a little bit more option okay that's looking great and here we have wind speed as you can see if you increase the speed it's more flat and if you decrease it so it's gonna mess up so we just don't want to decrease too much decrease and we just go with 21 that's looking okay for me okay and wind traction you can change the wind traction so you can play around this setting so you can get a lot of more details like which kind of detail you want so here we have a short wavelength so for smoothing the surface if you do this as you can see it's gonna smooth your all ocean but we don't want it we want more detail so it's looking okay for me wave height it's too high for me i just uh, maybe 23 or maybe 25 we just 25 and seeds we go with we don't mess with seed so choppiness what is choppiness so let's see as you can see it's uh give you a edgy wave so as you can see there is the edge on your wave there you increase it it's gonna mess so we don't want to mess our ocean surface so we don't have it that's looking okay for me and damp reflection we don't play with that you can change the depth so if you go under this so as you can see if you change the depth nothing happened at all so that's okay for me next thing we have a time so we need to animate this time for make this look realistic so we just are 500 frames 
and just add uh, animated time just click here and go to end and add maybe 300 and control click so as you can see we animate our ocean so but there is a problem you can see here from the start it's gonna start slowly and it's not a smooth uh, so what we can do for fix this well, we just simply right click on our plane and click on show tracks okay and wait so first we just sorry hard for the sorry for that right click on hard for the show track here and just click here linear option so when you click linear so as you can see when we hit play it's more uh, smooth but it's too far so what we can do we just select our keyframe and change 300 to uh, 100 so let's see how it works now it's look okay for me you can slow down it more a little bit like 70 okay 70 is okay so that's our complete setup for creating a for uh, ocean now we create a material and form form effect so for form effect we need to make our plane a polygon so it's not working with the object so we need to create a, a vertex map for our form effect so we just create new material first just make it editable poly so click on press, press c or just uh, if you don't want to use shortcut there is a button here so create a material you have, you can create any material octane just uh, red shift but i'm going with the simple standard material so i just apply my material on it so let's create a little bit dark question here like this Sorry, we need to change color. Dark question. So, more here. It's too dark for me. So, now I add a reflection. Remove the default. Just a reflection. You can create any water material or ocean. I just uh, simply show you how you can create a ocean so you can add transparency like water for water effect so i'm not uh, using transparency for this i just use reflection go in layer funnel dielectric custom and change it to a water so make a color more darker so that's okay for me and just here for show you okay now next thing we create a vertex map how we can do that just uh click on a plane layer and make it editable so click on any of these objects i'm using point so as you can see it's gonna fly now go on select tab and here you find set vertex and set value to zero okay and here we have our vertex so just click on your vertex rename it with uh, we need a two vertex map as you can see here j minus map so we just rename it with a j minus j sorry, minus and now we create another vertex map same click on your plane layer select uh, any of these mode and go on select tab select vertex map and zero and here you get new vertex map so just simply click on your vertex map and change it name it to a form okay here we have a two vertex map so what we can do go back to our whole 40 plugin so just a crawl down here you find a do jacobian i don't know beyond jacobian just check this option to check again and for j minus we choose our j minus vertex 
and for form which is our form word app there so here we go so now if we click your form word app so you can see clearly on this light surface it's gonna create a form for your question as you can see here this all is form you can change the settings and in your lifetime as you can see we can increase or we can decrease here yeah. so it's not too much just increase it a little bit more so add more form threshold that's looking okay for me now if we click on plane and just deselect our vertex map so nothing happens so what we need to do next we just now do some changes in our material so if you always obtain so there is also option for vertex materials and if you use ratio this is all uh, available in all third-party rendering plugins so I'm using standard just open your material which we created recently and in color just create a new effect go in effect and we get it here vertex map so just open a vertex map just click here and just click drag and drop your form vertex okay <coughs> sorry we need to form vertex in vertex map so as you can see when we do this so you can see a white surface white form on your see as here you can see so but you can see we don't get our material it's gonna dark too much so what we can do now go back to a color uh, channel and change mix mode to a add so as you can see we get our material back and boom so it's looking great let's add more what we add sky create uh, material apply sky material and in luminance we just use a gradient so we just what vertical inward and So if it render it so it's looking great so uh, I hope you like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have any request for further tutorial about any 3d software like 3ds max and 4d Houdini Maya any of thing the brush anything just comment below I try to help you out Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Bye-bye.